What's up guys? This is Josh from All Aspects and we're going to go over five things I hate about my E30. You're gonna introduce me? And this is Jerm. All Aspects Jerm. What's good? First thing I hate about my E30, there's no cup holders. Not a single one. Zero. So if you want to put anything in your E30, don't expect to. Because you got to buy an aftermarket cup holder just to put any kind of sort of drink in here or it's going to be in your front seat. BMW clearly didn't care about their customer's hydration. They wanted you to be woozy to buy car parts. Hey, can you put my drink in your cup holder? Yeah, no problem, dude. Oh, wait. I don't have any cup holders. There's no cup holders in the E30. Nowhere to put any drinks anywhere. Unless you see both right here. This is your best option right here. Here's your cup holder for your E30. Option A doesn't work. You have to get new cup holders. So I know Renown sells uh, these cup holders that I purchased. They're aftermarket. You just put them right here and uh, you get a cup holders. You know what I mean? Second thing I hate about the E30, it eats oil like Jason eats booty. My friend Jason Nguyen eats booty. Like every day, every second. E30 eats oil every day, every second. So pretty much you're gonna need to have a, a bottle of oil with you all the time to fill up every week. So that's why I got this in the front seat, always with me. When you own an E30, you're gonna hate having to buy oil all the time. Cause this thing loves to eat this shit for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're gonna have to buy this every two weeks and always make sure to check your oil levels because it's probably low, no matter what you do. You don't drive it, you drive it, it's gonna eat it, no matter what. Third thing I hate about my E30, it's fucking slow. It's so slow. I mean, it is a light car, but it only has like 150 horsepower, so. You know, it's from the 80s, so it's not very fast, you know what I mean? Uh, it's fun to drive, and it feels like you're going 100 miles per hour, but you're actually going 20 miles per hour, so. I mean, most people do upgrade the engine. You put an LS swap in there, an S50 turbo, blah, blah, blah. You know, because it, 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 it's very slow. I mean, most of the Toyota Camrys will whip my ass, so it doesn't matter, but at least I'm looking good. Summers, the AC, most E30s AC don't even work, but mine works, but they ain't cold. Good luck in the summertime if you're gonna own E30 because you're gonna probably have your windows down most of the time and you're gonna have AC blowing, not blowing anything, but just like that in your face. So here in Cali, during the summer, it's freaking hot. So when you're driving an E30, you're definitely gonna be having all your windows down because definitely your AC, no, 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 it's not gonna be working. I hate the E30 in the summer because it's so fucking hot, especially when I'm driving and there's no way of defeating the heat. You're just out here sweating your balls out, even with the windows down. Your hands are sweating, your hands are sweating, everything's sweating, your car is sweating, all because of no AC. And that's one thing about an E30 that I definitely, definitely hate. Last and final thing, number five. If you want to put coils or bags on here, it's not like your normal car where you just take out the strut and the coils and you just pop it back in. No, no, no. You got to cut off your strut and weld them out. So it's going to be a bitch. So guys, when you have an E30, and you want them coils or bags, you want to install them yourself, it's gonna be a big headache. Just letting y'all know, why I hate the E30 is for some reason, they decided to make it all one piece. So you cannot take off the coils or struts separately. You gotta, you can't just bolt them off like any other car and just swap them out, no. 
This is all one piece. It's gonna be a pain in the ass because it's only for the fronts for the E30 for some reason. I don't know why, but when you want to install these bitches, cut off, weld it back on. And if you want to switch them, well, you know what's gonna happen. So that's five things I absolutely hate about the E30. And if you're planning to buy one, just be be prepared because it's it's probably gonna be a headache and you're probably gonna run into the same problems I am. And it's not gonna be fun, but overall I love my E30. I mean it's a fun car, it has its quirks, but it's a fun car. And you're probably gonna love your car too. So be on the lookout for the next video on five reasons I love my E30.